Welcome to Daily Reading the Word for November 21st. I'm Jonathan Kinsler. Today's scripture reading is found in Ezekiel chapters 35 and 36 and James chapter 3. The title of my devotional is God Will Prove Himself Holy. And we're going to be looking at Ezekiel 36 verse 23, which says, I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God, when I prove myself holy among you in their sight. The purpose of God's restoration of Israel was ultimately to glorify God's name, his own name, among the nations. Israel had profaned it among the nations by their disobedience and making it appear that God had not been able to deliver them. We see that in Ezekiel 36, 19 through 21. Um, and we saw that it was Israel which had profaned his name among the nations. Um, they had uh, really given a false sense of what it was to be God's people because they turned away from God instead of being faithful to him. And God destroyed their land, which gave a message to the nations that God is judge, but not the, the central message that God is gracious and that God is faithful. So God would restore it. God would reverse this picture uh, of Israel that God is judge, but he's first and foremost gracious, he's patient, he's kind, he's, he's saving. So all the nations round about Israel will know that the name of Yah that will know the name of Yahweh when he rebuilds the ruins and replants Israel in their land. Israel's restoration would not be like former times, but it would be much greater. And Ezekiel 36 verses 24 to 32 to give seven elements of this promise. So just very quickly, uh, in verse 24, God will return his people to their land. That's number one. Number two, he will cleanse them from their impurities and idolatry. Um, number three, God will regenerate them with a new heart by giving them his spirit. He will also give them, of course, a new heart. Um, number four, God's spirit will cause them to walk in his ways. Uh, that's verse 27. Verse 28 is number five, which says they will live permanently in the land of their forefathers. Number six, God will multiply their product productivity. That's verses 29 to 30. And verse 31 says they will repent of their past actions. Today, the restor restoration of Israel is yet to be fulfilled in completeness. The church shares in the blessing given to Israel in Christ, but there is the exclusive promise to Israel about their land, which suggests for further fulfillment for them. Israel has returned to their land, but they have not wholeheartedly turned to the Lord. So um, many of these have not come to fulfillment in the people that have actually been brought back to their land. In particular, number seven has not happened, where they will repent of their past actions. And the number one um, issue that they need to repent about is accepting Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. They must accept that Jesus is the Messiah, the one that God has sent to save them from their enemies and to save them specifically from their sins. So when they repent, God's greatness will be obvious to the nations. Paul explains that if their falling away resulted in riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their fulfillment be? What will their acceptance be but life from the dead? So Paul, in the first century, he saw many turn away from Christ, not accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. But he foresaw a future day uh, in which that would be reversed, and it would be a glorious day, and it would result in great riches even for the Gentiles as well. So do you seek to glorify God's name among the nations? Do you pray also for the restoration of Israel, something that we've already begun to see, but that it would be fulfilled and even in our day? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, Lord, how great you are that you will do it. That there is nothing that can stand in your way and in your purposes. And even today, we are standing at the end, even it seems of the ages for sure, um, it's always been in the last days, but it's been 2,000 years since Christ has come. And we've seen the fulfillment of you bringing back Israel to their own land. The Jews have been returned. 
And Lord, it's um, we're waiting to see what you will do, especially how you will bring Israel back to you. You will call them back and they will respond wholeheartedly. Um, we look forward to that day, but already we rejoice that many Jews are coming to you. And also many of our family members are coming to you. Many of our neighbors and co-workers are coming to you. Let us keep our eyes on you and live for you and repent of anything that would be against your, your will. In your name we pray. Amen.